How to have a casual relationship without getting hurt. It's no secret that casual relationships are on the rise, and it's not hard to see why. No one enjoys the drama that comes with serious involvement. And there just might be some diamonds in the rough around every corner. The question is, how do you have a casual relationship without getting hurt? To start off with, avoid being too carefree about sex without protection. It usually won't happen, but if you get pregnant or contract an STI from your partner, then chances are they're gone for good. If you're feeling vulnerable and want something more than physical, then don't expect your casual partner to read your mind. Tell them what you need from them at all times. If you are in a casual relationship, being honest with your partner is essential. Avoid making excuses for complex situations and tell them what is going through your mind. Don't think you can solve everything for your partner, but be willing to work through problems. In addition, casual relationships shouldn't make you feel uncomfortable or unhappy all the time. Instead, they should make you feel happy and comfortable all the time. Avoiding red flags in a casual relationship. Avoiding red flags in a casual romantic relationship is essential to stay safe. You may not even realize it, but early signs of a relationship's dangers can be a precursor to bigger ones. It's also important to know your limits and express them. Take the early red flags quiz to find out if there are signs of trouble in the making. Avoiding red flags in a casual love affair doesn't have to be a daunting task. The key is to acknowledge the other person's intentions and follow your gut instinct. Then, if you're concerned, contact the local police and seek protection. Even if you're in a relationship for a short time, contact the police to keep yourself safe. Some signs of an unhealthy relationship include insecurity. If your partner seems insecure, you should ask where the relationship is headed. If your partner is unwilling or unable to answer this question, you should return. The giant red flag in a relationship is an unhappy partner. Casual relationships can get complicated quickly. Knowing when to end a relationship is vital. You should know when to end a relationship before feelings get involved and begin talking about a more serious relationship. Knowing when to stop talking casually and not get caught up in feelings is also essential. Respecting your partner in a casual relationship. The key to maintaining a healthy relationship in a casual relationship is to respect your partner's boundaries. This doesn't mean that you should not be intimate with your partner, but it also means that you should not push your partner too far. As with any relationship, it's best to be honest with your partner about your preferences. Respecting your partner's time in a casual relationship means valuing their time. This will help you develop trust between you and your partner. As long as you both value your time, you can be sure that your partner will do the same for you. Remember that casual relationships are meant to last for a short period and are not serious relationships. So if you find yourself bored or developing feelings for your partner, it's time to stop the relationship. On the other hand, casual relationships are often great because they allow you to be flexible with your lifestyle. It would help if you discussed any changes in your relationship with your partner as soon as possible. This will prevent confusion and unnecessary heartache. Also, you should not rush into a casual relationship if you haven't decided whether you'll be seeing each other again. If the relationship isn't working out, you may decide to end it and remain friends. It's challenging to find someone who wants a casual relationship. However, it's worth looking into if you're comfortable approaching others. Even though a casual relationship isn't a long-term commitment, it's essential to maintain open communication between you. Avoiding increased eye contact. Avoiding increased eye contact is not only wrong, but it can also be hurtful. The person you are talking to sends you a nasty message by not looking into your eyes. This type of behavior is unattractive and may signify something else. 
If you are in a casual relationship, you must take the necessary precautions to keep yourself safe. The first step is to contact the police. The police can provide you with protection if you feel threatened. However, the worst thing to do is to ignore red flags because they could lead to serious harm down the road. If you can't avoid increased eye contact, you should learn how to read the person's body language. For example, the person may not be attracted to you, but they may be just indifferent to you. This can help you understand the nonverbal messages and formulate appropriate responses. In a casual relationship, it's essential to understand what your partner wants. Understanding your partner's wants and desires can gauge if you're in the right relationship for each other. It is also essential to keep your emotions in check when in a relationship. Avoiding pillow talk. Avoiding pillow talk is an essential part of having a casual relationship. It can open up many doors for a relationship, but you should avoid cuddling and discussing sex with your partner unless you are 100% sure it will be sexual. Talking about sex too much can complicate your relationship and hurt your partner's feelings. Try to avoid flirting with your partner and talk about sex casually instead. Pillow talk is often emotional rather than sexual, but it's still vital for maintaining your sensual bond. It makes your partner feel close, and it can also increase self-love. Studies have shown that couples who talk about their partners after sex have a stronger bond. This is because it increases the release of oxytocin, a love hormone that makes you feel close and connected to your partner. As with any relationship, you should limit pillow talk. This can lead to the rocky ground if you're not careful. When in doubt, consult a professional and seek protection. Call the police and ask them for protection if the situation becomes uncomfortable. Although you may not be able to stop pillow talk completely, it will help you avoid potential problems. If you want to keep your relationship casual, avoid talking about your feelings and be as vague and respectful as possible. Talking on the bed or cuddling is a beautiful way to connect. It's also a way to share your private thoughts. It can also build a connection between two people and allow you to have more intimate moments with your partner. However, pillow talk is different than talking during sex. It's more emotional and is usually conducted before or after sex.